morning, David Akubi and Bear Woods Photography. Uh, I was hoping to come out and get some really neat stuff for a sunrise this morning. Got some birds going crazy out here. Um, but the cloud coverage that wasn't supposed to be here is all over the place. So I'm going to use this opportunity to talk about um, what you do in a day like this where it's just flat. I mean, super flat. It's cloudy. Low clouds, high clouds, everything. So what I want to do is I want to talk about the use of filters. And I'm going to do some examples and I'll talk you through each one. Where I'm going to, we got some wind, so there's a lot of ripples. Uh, which sort of takes away from the scene. Because most of what I'm going to do, I'm going to convert to black and white anyway. So I'm looking for contrast. The contrast of the black, the contrast of the white. So what I want to do is I'm going to, I'm going to do an example without a filter to show you what happens to the ripples and how it detracts from the image. Then I'm going to use a series of filters. I'll use uh, a four stop or a five stop filter. I'm, I'm trying to remember which one it is. I think it's four stop. Uh, then I'm gonna use a 10 stop and show you the difference. Then I might throw the circular polarizer on and the four stop and then do one with the circular polarizer as well. But before and after each image, I'll make sure that I, I let you know exactly what I'm, I'm using in that particular frame. Uh, I was trying just different areas along the, the marina here and the problem with a filter that's that's going to give you like a, a 10 stop filter, um, you got to make sure your boats aren't moving. So this boat back here is sunk. Um, it's on the bottom so it's not moving. I found a couple really neat boats but in a two minute exposure they were rocking all over back forth everything else so they're not really good subjects for something like this. So I'm going to like I said do a few of the images just walk you through it let you see exactly what's going on and I'll let you see the advantages and disadvantages of filter systems. Uh, at some point we're going to do a video talking about the different filter systems and talk about which one works for us and why. Uh, my teaching partner Cecil Holmes will be in today and the two of us together we're going to experience with a lot of these things and see what we can do. So let's get some images and see what we can do. So this first frame what I'm doing is I'm using no filter at all. I've simply uh, just got the camera set up at f5.6. I'm going to do all the frames at 5.6. Uh, shutter speed is obviously going to change. I may have to vary the, the ISO a little bit to keep uh, the, the, the exposure somewhat reasonable. Um, but this is without any filter at all. Okay, now I've got a circular polarizer on there, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the polarizer. And I probably could set this up to make it a little easier, but oh well. I'm going to turn the polarizer just enough. Um, I don't even remember what my exposure was in the last one. This is about. Uh, this is about a 25th of a second, 20th of a second here at ISO 5.6. And still not the effect that I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and stick a, a neutral density filter on the front of it. While I've got the circular polarizer on there, I'm going to go ahead and put the, 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 the regular neutral density filter on there as well. And sort of check the effect that I'm getting. Um, I think it's going to be a little bit better, but we'll see. So that image was just the circular polarizer. Okay, so now on there I've got the circular polarizer, then with the magnetic filter system, which I'm really enjoying the magnetic filter system because you don't have to worry about sliding stuff in and out, changing your composition, moving your lens, anything like that. It just sticks on the front. Uh, one big knock on, on filter systems in the past has been the fact that uh, you've got to slide them in. And when you're sliding them in, um, you get light leaks. They can get in between the glass and everything else with these... With these uh, um, magnetic ones you don't have that because it seals up against each other and that works really well. So with this particular image, like I said, I've got the the ND6, right? ND, ND4, which is a 0.6, which I think is a three stop. I wish they would just say two stop, three stop, whatever on there versus all the NDs and everything else. But anyway, I believe it's a three stop with the circular polarizer. I'm getting a half a second at five, six at 100. Um, let me take this off here. So, yep, half a second, five, six. 
looking better, starting to smooth that water out really nice. Let me take the circular polarizer off, do a shot like that, just to give you an idea of what it looks like as well. All right, now on this exposure, I'm simply using that, uh, that three-stop neutral density filter, no circular polarizer. Um, I've got a shutter speed of one-sixth of a second at 5.6 at 100 ISO. Let's take a look. Looks good. Um, starting to get that effect that I'm really looking for. I think the 10-stop is going to be the way to go. Let's put the 10-stop on there and see what happens. Okay, for this final exposure, I'm using the ND1000, which is a 10-stop filter. Um, I don't want to do it with a circular polarizer because what I'm, I don't want to remove the glare. I want this glare to help give me the contrast. So I'm, I'm just going to do the 10-stop, not a circular polarizer. Um, I may even stack, you know what, I may stack the 4-stop or 3-stop with the 10-stop and see what happens. Right now at 100 ISO at 5.6, I'm getting 15 seconds. So it's definitely gotten brighter out here since I was doing my test earlier. I was at 2 minute and 4 minute exposures. Uh, so so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to get the exposure at 15 seconds and uh, 5.6, 100, and we'll see what that looks like. It's going to be the effect that I think that I'm looking for because it smooths the water out really nice, gives me a lot of, uh, of high contrast, the glare of uh, the reflection of the, the clouds above me, but it gives me good detail in everything down below. So I may play with this. I may, uh, let's see looking really good. I'm going to do one exposure at 30 seconds at f8 and um, just to get a little more depth of field. It's light enough outside now that I'm not getting these crazy exposures of, like I said, four minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this, then I'm going to stick the three stop on top of it, and that's going to give me a one minute, two minute, four minute exposure. Uh, but it's going to be cool. I'm going to see what happens. So let's do these exposures, and then I'll post them um, at the end of this segment, and we can take a look at, at you know, how it, how it looks, and you tell me which one you think is the best as well. So the 30 second exposure looked really good, but for grins and giggles, I'm gonna go ahead and put the, uh, the three stop on there, give me a four minute exposure, because 30 seconds, then you get one minute doubling it, two minutes, then four minutes. The hardest part about this all thing is the math. Um, there are apps for it, but I'm old school, I don't use the apps and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to release my shutter. I've got it in bulb mode, and in four minutes, which will time in it now um, you know I can I can show you these exposures as well and part of the reason I'm doing this little segment right here is while I'm doing this you're gonna hear my voice but you're gonna see the image that I actually captured um, I'm not gonna sit there and make you listen to me and these birds going crazy for the next four minutes um, so I'm gonna leave you at this uh, while I finish this exposure and then I'll get back to you as I was doing that exposure I realized that I'd miscalculated it um, yeah, it happens. Um, that's why they have the app, so you don't have to rely on math like I'm doing. Um, but it should not have been a four-minute exposure. It should have only been about a two-minute. I'm going to give it a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to give it a three-minute exposure because back in the film days, there was something known as reciprocity failure, that the longer the exposure, the more time it needed to make up for it. Digital's not as bad, but I'm going to go ahead and add, uh, you know, like a half a stop or so. So I'm going to do it at a three-minute exposure. So hopefully you were able to get a little bit of information uh, as to why you should use filters when you shouldn't use filters as well um, and give you an idea of the type of filters or the different filters that you're looking for, whether it be a circular polarizer, a neutral density, uh, a dark polarizer, a neutral density CPL combination, circular polarizer combination, or even a 10-stop filter. So hopefully you were able to pick up some of that. Uh, if you were, go ahead and give me a thumbs up at the end of the video. If you don't already subscribe to my video channel on YouTube, please do. And down here in the corner, there's a little bell. If you'd like to ring that bell, it'll give you notifications as to when I post videos. But beyond that, have a great day. It's, it's a beautiful day to be out regardless of whether there's sun or not. So thank you again.